Al McGee with your entertainment ticket at www.yeticket.com. Hey, the film I'm talking about right now is called Sing Street. Hey, this is directed by John Carney. He also wrote it. He had a couple other, you know, films that were pretty good. Is this a good one that he just did? Well, let me tell you a little bit about it. This is set in Dublin in 1985. Remember the music scene back then? And the reason I mentioned music, cause that's what this film is about. You know, in, in 1985, you know, Dublin's going through an economic turmoil. 1985, I think we all was going through some type of economic turmoil. Even today, I'm still going through an economic turmoil. Anyway, it's about this young kid named Connor which is prayed by Fredia Walsh Pilo. Now, Connor, you know, he didn't have the best of life. In fact, his parents was arguing about splitting up. They were broke. Mama lost a job. Daddy can barely make some money. Then they transferred him from a Jewish school to a Catholic school. I don't know what the deal with that is, but I guess that's how the education system is back there in Dublin. So, you know, he uh, meets some new friends. Now, in, in his also household also is his uh, parents, played by Adrian Gillian and Marla Dole Kennedy. Then he has a brother, and he has, a, has an older brother. So anyway, he gets to the Jesuit school, you know. One guy bullied him. You know, the normal stuff. But here the Catholic head priest was a big bully himself. And, you know, he had to do the things he had to do to get out of trouble. But as he started talking to people in the school, you know, there's all boys at the school. Across the street is the all girl home. And there he met this young lady named Rafina, which is played by Lucy Boynton. And you know, she's a young girl. She's 16, he's 15. You know, she dressed kind of like she's a little older. She seemed to be smart and things like that. But he likes her. So what does he do? Well, what did another young man would do? Form a band and start writing love songs about their relationship. And that's what happened in this film. <laughs> and the reason I'm laughing, how many of you guys out there said, hey, I'm going to write a love song for this girl that I like? Hey, that's what happened in this film. He put a band together. They start shooting a little few music videos. Because remember, 1985, at that time, all the real stars started putting out real videos for their songs, you know, which they showed in the film. Now, were the songs any good in this film? You know, I must admit the songs were pretty good in this film. They're original songs, you know, and they were very enjoyable. And I really had fun listening to them and watching them play these young kids. Also, Connor's older brother taught them how to songwrite or how to write songs. He taught him that. And that's how he put the songs together. But you know, this is a movie. Anyway, he did a great job with this. Now, Carney, the director, he remembered the 80s music very well too. Again, that's why I said the songs in is very good. And of course, you know, everybody wants to leave Dublin and go to London and things like that. You know, so, but was this, a good movie to watch. Yes, it's a good movie to watch. You will enjoy the songs, but you don't get to learn the other characters, uh, especially lot the other band members. You really don't get to learn a lot about them, nor their family life, too, or how they get along in school. But this is just a movie. But I had fun watching this movie. It's not a great movie, so I'm only going to give this two and a half palm trees out of four. That means it's better than average. Yeah. Sing Street. I enjoyed it. Weinstein Brothers, they produced this. They distributed it. They saw it. Hey, I'm glad they did. I'm Al McGee with your entertainment ticket. I'm glad that you watched me review Sing Street. Hey, I really appreciate it. We are your entertainment ticket. That's right. Welcome to the We are your